hello precious jewels welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making the nigerian suya our main ingredient in today's recipe is going to be the suya spice famously known as yaji by the houses i got this particular suya spice at the Oyibo market in lagos if you would love a detailed video on how to make the suya spice click on the link in the description box to watch the suya spice recipe made by auntie flo of all nigerian recipes for this our tantalizing taste delicious suya you would need a chunk of beef beef courts whichever sides of the beef you prefer then we would also need our suya spice just like i said before we we'll need any any kind of oil for mine i'll be using sunflower oil and stock cube thanks to the mesu near my house back in nigeria i'll be garnishing with cucumber onions tomato and cabbage kitchen utensils will be needing a pastry brush a sharp kitchen knife a bamboo skewers and of course our chopping board I start by chopping my big chunk of beef into three medium sizes. Since my Santoku knife decided to disappoint me, I have to switch to my cleaver knife. Using my knife, I cut my beef into thin fillet slices. You can skip this step just by buying simple beef fillets or by asking your butcher to cut into appropriate sizes. They have the appropriate appliance to do this, so don't stress yourself like I am doing. <laughs> Uh, done cutting making my fillets and you can see for yourself you can see how thin the fillets are this is exactly how they should be and before doing this you should make sure you've soaked your skewers your bamboo skewers for about an hour to prevent burning when you grill your suya some people prefer to skewer all of the beef before dabbing but i prefer to skewer each beef fillet and then dab this way all of the flavors from the suya spice are marinated into the beef fillet for a longer period of time We we'll then move on to put all of our skewers on the oven rack. Since I have a toddler who would not want to be left out in eating suya and due to its peppery nature, I had to make sure I made four skewers just for him using a little sprinkle of yaji, grated onions, oil, stock cube and salt. Ten minutes after grilling in the oven at 180 degrees, we would rub a mixture of oil and stock cube on the suya. extra 10 minutes our suya is ready you can see our suya is ready very well cooked and very tender on the inside just look at this your malicious goodness so tender and yum this is exactly how we make our suya so nice and simple please let me know guys if you enjoyed this video i'd love to get your feedback in the comment section like share subscribe don't forget guys and see you in the next one